Um, I am Menachem Klein. I am a university professor in Israel, Bar Ilan University. Um, my field of research is Israel Palestine, history, politics, sociology, um, generally uh, the relations between the two nations in the modern time. My recent book is Lives in Common, Arabs and Jews in Jaffa, Jerusalem and Hebron, um, also in Hebrew and very soon in German. I, I, say I live in Jerusalem and in, uh, in Israel. I was born there, so I'm an Israeli citizen, so the history of the place, the history of, uh, of the conflict in which I am involved in, and the, the history of my neighbors uh, interest me, actually. So it seems to me very natural that I will be interested in, uh, in the, this uh, subject. Um, and from different uh, angels, uh, so uh, history, intellectual history, everyday life history, or history uh, diplomatic history, and present also. So um, the events, so I, I lived through the Six Day War and the uh, 73, and all the wars from 67 on, uh, including the Intifada in Jerusalem, the Intifadas, okay. Um, and uh, I'm involved in, in this, you know, in everyday life. In my last book, I moved from uh, intellectual and political history and relations between institutions to uh, everyday life encounter between Jews and Arabs um, from the late 19th century up to date. And uh, I must say that my, what I found um, fascinated, it fascinated me while reading the uh, primary sources and, and during the, the writing of the book um, to find the encounter, the very rich encounter between Jews and Arabs um, and that they both shared a local identity in what we call today Palestine. There was no administrative unit defined as Palestine, okay? But this part of the Ottoman Empire in the late 19th century, and then also during the British uh, Mandate time, um, they, uh, but, but prior even to World War I, Jews and Arabs in Palestine shared a local identity. They lived together in the same neighborhood as uh, local patriots. And the, the uh, in, encounter between them it amazed me, it's something that all the readers, the, the, uh, the students, uh, average persons that, uh, that read the book, uh, they said, I, we don't know. And actually, I di also did not know, because this uh, chapter in the history of Jews and Arabs in Palestine um, was pushed away by the official uh, narrative. So this fascinates me to, 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 to reveal the, uh, the reality that was there. It's not, you know, uh, um, intellectual stream, but how people actually lived. And the sources that I use are both Jewish or in Hebrew and Palestinian sources in Arabic. Um, so th this is fascinating, and it's part. And, and my my book, my uh, this topic, is part of a greater trend now uh, of studying Arab Jews uh, elsewhere in in the Middle East. Um, and I hope I, I see that this is a, a emerging, developing uh, uh, area that will, it is changing, gradually it's changing all our knowledge and all our test, textbooks sh should be rewritten uh, indeed. So the, pers the, the war, animosity, terror, uh, hijack our perception and knowledge and imagination. It's very, very difficult to imagine for, for us living, you know, now in the conflict in the Middle East, to imagine, uh, for instance, that a Muslim uh, Palestinian uh, guy, uh, Muslim or Christian, goes to visit his next door Jew 
and uh, the Jew, of course, gives him, uh, offers him a drink and a cake, a piece of cake, and then the, the Muslim or the Christian, the Palestinian Arab, uh, bless the, the Jewish religious blessing uh, for, for this peace, as the Jew does. So, or that the, the Jews participate in Nabi Musa uh, festival or in, in Muslim festivals, or they, they share the same uh, holy place um, and the, the, the shrines. So this is very difficult for us to, 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 to understand, but there are so strong evidence and descriptions of this that no one can deny. And maybe this is a, a hope for the future. So if it once existed, perhaps we can reconstruct it or, or return to parts of it at, at least and reduce the animosity and the bloodshed, and stop the bloodshed between us. It's not something that is written in our DNA as Jews and, and Arabs. It's not something that was there from uh, Adam or, or uh, uh, from start or from the first days that, uh, of modern Palestine. It was not there. It was created by human being. It was, it was manufactured. So perhaps we can also decide that, okay, let's try to learn the lessons and let's try to reconstruct some parts of the, of the past. We cannot, we cannot return, okay, exactly to what happened. But perhaps we can take some parts, examples, learn something from it. This is, uh, this is something that I see as a, as a message of uh, studying the history.